Hello everyone. Today we will continue to share the second part of the Watts Minor training tutorial. Let's see the file first. In this part, they have a two sections, section 3 and section 4. So first we will start with section 3. Introduction of tools. This is our official tool it named Watts Minor Tool. The latest version is 8.1. 30 so we can see the major parameters on the tool they have many buttons first one is minor high p the second one is start the third one upgrade to use for upgrading firmware the fourth one is pools this button you could use for configure your pool information in this button the next one is password you could modify your password when you start the new device and also if you need to use APF function you also need to use it. Next one is permissions. And the next is remote control. In this button, there are many functions like export log files, and switch the performance mode and so on. The next export. This export function only for export to the data of real time to check your whole farm status such as the device quantity, minor type, power version, MAC address, also some like hash rate, value, power consumption and version information. The next button is IP monitor. For this button, it used for detect your IP when you firstly run your device on the network. Maybe you can't find your IP for this. So you could use this button to find the actual IP of your device. This page is for firmware upgrading. After you click this button, then you could select the file of firmware which you need to upgrade. And also you could get the firmware download link on this page. This is remote control. You could reboot your device here. And M. In in control. Performance mode. Fast boot switch. Minor APR switch. Restore the HCP. LEDs control. Protection mode. This protection mode is only used for liquid device restore factory setting this is the same as the button reset on the control board adjust fret this module also only suitable for liquid mode you want to raise the frequency next export log and the last one web pool switch you could open the web pool switch and also you could close the pool configuration function on website. Then the next one is fix IP. So first you could detect the IP with the IP monitor. If you click it then you could click the start button. And then you need to press the button on control board IP found. After that you could get the minor list. Also you could modify the IP to which one you want. Suppose the resource IP is 2.19, and if you want to modify it to another IP which still in the same segment, then you could fix it here. The last one, export data. For this function you could get the file which we can read the status of your devices. Ok, turn or what's minor tool to check. So first is minor. You could configure your IP segment here. So we can add it in the form. So this one. On ITER. When you click the start it will monitor the device of your IP segment. The third one is upgrade. You could select the file of firmware which you already download in your desk or laptop. Ok so the fourth one is pools. You could configure your pool information. Three pools address you could type in in the worker. Also you could use suffix of to identify your device. OK password. The default password is the same as account. It is admin. So you could change it for safety control. This is permission you can distribute the function of the right to manage your device to other people. 
Okay, the next one is remote control. This is the most important button in the Watts Minor tool, because so many functions here. You could reboot, but anyway you need to tick the device which you want to operate on it. So first let's tick to this device, and then click remote control. You can do like reboot, mining control. Like this, and performance mode. They have three modes in this function. You could use high mode, normal mode, and low mode. But for high mode it required your input voltage is over 230 volts. See this device the original performance mode is high. Now we're switching it to normal. The status will display success after we click it. Next one fast boot switch. It used for few time only for some solar energy devices. And the next one, mine API switch font color equals pound 00C2D6. Font if you want to use API you need to change the API switch from the disable to enable mode but before this, you need to change the default password. Next one, restore DHCP. After you fix the API before the device, maybe after some time, if you have a requirement of light transfer the farm transfer the advice to another place maybe you need to restore DHCP before you power off. This is DHCP so if you don't do this after you transfer your devices to another place maybe you can't find IP when powering a new farm. So before power off from old farm please do this. Let's control this function is used for when your farm so many devices but you need to know the location, like this one 2.9, I want to know where is the device, I can use this function, you can make it from normal to flash mode, so that the lead will flash very fast, and you can find it easily. Ok, the next one. Function is export, you could export the data of the status. Let's check what we export. See it will generate a file which will display all the information like the same as tool. If you have faced some issues of the devices especially for the environment issue. You could export the data and share it for us to help you to find what's a root cause and what's the problem of the environment especially on the input voltage, the environment temperature, fan speed and so on. Ok let's continue, next one IP monitor. I will act how it will used, so first click it, and clean the start, then we will go to the lab to press the button. First we need to use the network cable to connect your laptop with the same IP segment of the devices. Ok then we press the IP found. Button this device has showed up on what's minute tool. The library is very noisy I can't stay for a long time. Ok so we can see that the address IP has already showing up on the what's minute tool, right? We could do next and one more thing, you need to turn off close your firewall of the computer so that it could be detected smoothly. Ok then you could click the stop out, and then you could modify the IP here. And also you could configure the netmask. Broadcast. Gateway DNS parameters. This is the IP monitor. Function. The next. Setting. It's no need to change the parameters here. But you could change the default mode to complete mode. So that after you export the data you could see more informations, language, nothing else. Ok this is what's minor tool function. The next one is flashing control board. First prepare a TF card, and the second fresh the image from PC to card and the third one burn. In the control board with the card more details please check the link on how to flash the control board, so let's see it together. First we need to identify which control board type you are using. The CB4 underscore V10 is mostly the customer used, it should be H6O's control board. Download the SD card flashing program from the official website. 
After that you can unzipping this file, you will get the tools, images and instructions. The Phoenix card is the tool of flashing. Then insert the TF card to computer dot and then select the file the image you just download. And click the burn card button. When the progress bar turns green color, it means finished remove the card from computer. You could remove the network cable, insert the TF card to control board, and flash in the control board, and then power on the device. First the red light will blink, wait till the green light is on without blink. Ok let's continue, after that we could remove the SD card, and the control board will recover to normal. So let's connect the network cable, and power on the device, that's all, it will work normally again. Ok let's back to the file, let's start the next section, issues troubleshooting. When the device has issues, how to process it and how to start to find the root cause, how to improve it, and what's the error code's meaning, I will introduce these issues in this section. The first one, when your device has issue what you need to do first. Slash the first you should check the indication light if the indication light is on. Then you could check whether the IP could be found on website web page, or what's min at all, so if you can find the IP, you could check the error code, it has error code, and you could check it on our other file error code description, the issue will be explained. If no error code, maybe you need to export the log files to share to technician person. The second one, when you can't find the IP. Firstly, you need to use the IP detection function, IP monitor. Like the what's minute tool, IP monitor function to find whether you could find out the IP. If IP can't be detected, then you could try to flash the control board such as the last process show, if still not ok after flashing then maybe you need to send it for repair, send the control or you could replace the control for the next verification. This is the first status, light is on. The next one, if the indicated light is off, also, there has two situations, first one is PSU fan not work, most probably the PSU issue, the fan not work, also the indication light is off. Then we could confirm it is PSU issue. You could replace the PSU and check again. And the second one. Second situation is PSU fan can work. But the light is off. So mostly it's control board issue. At this time you could try to flash the control board. If not ok after flashing they need to repair the control board. It's the same as last. So mostly. If your hash board of issue then the PSU fan will work and the indication light will and so you could check the error code on what's minor tool or web page. This is the error code check, when the alarm light is flashing during running it means there has something wrong with the device, and we could check the error codes from web page, or what's minor tool to solve it, and to understand what's the issue of the error code. So we can see 540, 541, 560 like this kinds of error codes. And the error code type, that has the rule of error codes definition. If it start from the digital, 1. Mostly it is fan speed error like 110,130, 131 and so on. If start with 2. So mostly it's PSU issue. If start with 3, 4 and 5 maybe it's hash board issue and adapter plate issue. If the error code is 4 digital start with 2 like 2010. 2020 and 2000. It's pool error and also maybe it's network issue. And also maybe it's network issue. If the error codes start with 7 and 8. It is control board error. Mostly maybe you need to upgrade the firmware to check. And the last one if the error code is 350, 600 like this. It is high temperature issues. So maybe you need to improve your environment temperature. Also you could download the detailed error codes description from our official website. And also when you are facing like 540, 560, 210. You could check the video on the link. And it has a detailed description so we could check it.
Okay, let's continue. And also, it's MIDI control board issue if the same error code come out. Okay, let's back to the item. So this is the major error code description. That's all. Thank you. Next time we will continue the last.